What is up everyone? Welcome back to Naruto Online. We've got a new week. This is, guys, the first week of our January little daily upload schedule. And so far it has been going pretty well. I thought that I would just take the time for this first section just to go over a little bit of how it's going, how I'm feeling. Just because this is like a recap video, a little bit of a more casual style where I can just explain to you guys what has been going on. So first of all, I have been enjoying it. They have been working out pretty well. I've enjoyed the doing the video every single day. It's a little bit like practice and it's pretty fun. But I will say that I probably will not continue it after January. I'll try to do it as long as possible, but I think eventually I'll go back to a slower upload schedule just because I kind of value quality over quantity. And for a lot of these videos, I've been trying to make custom thumbnails, but I just haven't been keeping up. I'm going to go back eventually and make custom thumbnails for the videos that I've done, but those will take a little bit to come out. That being said though, I have been really enjoying it, and if you guys are also enjoying it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. Now let's actually jump into this week because we have had some things come out, including Ai Kimono, who is definitely one of the more interesting ninjas that we've seen in a little bit. I think you get him from a recharge event. Yeah, he's recharge only right now, but he's got some interesting skills in here. So his mystery is pretty cool because first of all, not only does it do like the normal mystery stuff, it can be used two times per round. And we've seen this for like uh, Rin, four star, and who is it? Hayashi, Huga, I think also four star as well. So this is going to be another one that we'll see that can use his mystery two times in one round. It's a pretty cool mystery as well. It does splash damage, so that's undodgeable and just overall it does quite a lot of like stuff like interruption suppresses super armor and it's immune to interruption itself pretty cool he's got a scaling standard increases his attack by six percent each time he uses his standard his chase is okay causes immobile and ignores a certain amount of defensive resistance and then his passives are where it starts getting interesting so not only is I immune, he also gets like the kind of Kabuto buff where he removes the debuffs from ninjas in your field on round two and five to so up to five random ninjas. I'm not sure if this is also like the Kabuto one where it can be executed even if I is controlled. I assume so, but we shall see. But yeah, it just removes all debuffs and then it gives them debuff immunity, which is actually even a little bit better than Kabuto's. Or one round and these oh yeah and this part these units can't be defeated by the first three attacks or any chase attacks in that round so you can ignore death three times that's actually an insane passive that's kind of like um tsunades but a little bit more limited also additionally to that we also have the passive tube which makes it so that hidden cloud ninjas or allied shinobi they get a scaling for their attack and I, I think this is a permanent scaling, yeah. I think it is a permanent scaling, so it gives um, them a permanent extra 20% attack after they use a mystery. As for some other news, although we didn't get these in EN, CN got some new main changes, and I'll actually put a link to it. I'll try doing like the little card thing that's up in the top right a little bit <laughs> to link to the video. I did a whole video where I explained all the new CN changes that are coming out, which especially benefit Water Main making her completely broken. Uh, so we're going to be able to see how that plays out in CN. But we also got 3v3 arena. They put in Hashirama warring states in here. So if you guys didn't pick him up in the like pack, you'll be able to now. I think you'll be able to get him to 3 star if you did get him. So we'll see uh, when you're able to get him. Of course, we also got our events for this week. So they put like um last time fuku deals in here but they kind of nerfed it a little bit because they took out uh, kabuto sage pets it's a good thing that we grabbed him last time and now if you take a look at the pack they have i think basically everything the same except for kabuto sage now. they might have taken out kakuzu ac as well yeah i think they also took out kakuzu ac but i mean it's a li it's basically the same thing though in terms of value we actually didn't get that many events this week, which is kind of weird. We did get Sakura's Gift in here, which has Sage Mode Kabuto, so I'm going to be picking up free frags of there. Swimsuit Angel, or <laughs> Swimsuit Konon is in here as well, as well as AC Kakuzu. So we see these two slowly making it into the 
coupon packs. We also got the Ninja Assist optional packs or Ninja Assist gift packs here, which actually are not the ones that we're used to. Normally they have the flags in there. I would only recommend picking it up for the flags. Um, but since it's not here, I don't know about that. Fateful Choice is back. We're going for our free Naruto frags as usual, just because there's some good stuff and we're going to be able to slowly reduce the cost. I also noticed that Tsunade Swimsuit is in here as well. So I guess you can get him. Eventually we might actually go for Sasuke just because I do want to pick up 4 star Sasuke. Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, Lucky Stars is here with our bait modder in here. They kind of switch position up a little bit. Everything else has stayed pretty much the same. Uh, again, powerful item optional pack. It's probably the only thing you should be going for in this event. Uh, Lucky Snatch. So they took out the 40k bait and put in Kamado Sage mode instead. I wonder why they took out the 40k. It was a lot of fun playing with it. A little bit sad. We have recruitment feedback here. Uh, I think I might be really close to doing this. I'm like 10 seal scrolls away or so. We might be able to do it later on this week, but right now I'm still a little bit off. We have Wishing Lantern, which, which hasn't been around for a while. But we're finally going to be able to get to 5,000 because I've been waking up late for the past few cycles and haven't been able to hit the 5,000 mark. But now hopefully we will be able to. Summon Rebate is out, and we got Naruto uh, Ramen Party, which has some nice stuff in here. So we got Sasuke Ridge Sharingan in here. Which I think some people are probably going to be picking him up. The one I'm mainly going for is just the secret scroll pages because like I said a while back we actually unlocked the burst was it? I think it was burst. Yeah the burst plate in here but it's still only level 3 so yeah we have a lot of work that we could do in here and get lots of power. Speaking of power we are doing pretty well guys. 37 or 372k. Doing very well, we'll probably be able to catch up to Flash very soon at this rate. And we're also going to be able to take up our power gift pack here for another 100 frags of Guy. Where is it? It's all the way down here. So many of these packs. Oh yeah, this is how I was going to get the seal scrolls. I remember now. Um, so yeah, once I hit this mark, I think I'll be able to get the enough seal scrolls to actually do the recruitment feedback. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.